going to try to use some of this um, light green olive. Light olive green. I'll get that in a minute. I have my um, 20 over 0 liner brush. I'm just going to put a little bit of water because I want this here to run and I'm going to put it in my paint. And so what I'm going to do is just come try to flick up. That might not even be seen in it so I may have to go with the golden yellow. I think I'm going to grab some grass green with this one instead of the olive because it's not working. So let's try the grass green in here with, with this. Yep, yeah, I like the grass green and the um, yellow okra. I need a little more water in it to get it to run. And we're just flickering some um, grasses in there. That's all I'm doing. Different colors different heights and I just I pick up some other colors with it some different greens with my own yellow and see how it turns out it's not coming out as good so I'm going to stick with the green the grass green and the um, yellow okra Torch the sky as high as we can get it. I want my grasses going in all, all kind of directions so it don't really matter what direction they're going in. So if I pick up like the golden yellow one time, then the, the next time I can pick up the green. Just as long as I get the flickers of color in there. I want a lot of it, so this is going to take a while. So I'm going to get quiet. I'm going to paint and because I'll probably end up putting this fast forward for y'all. The chrome um, oxidine, oxidide green, I'm using a little bit of it in here as well because it's a darker green and that way it'll um, bring some more texture to the grass. Um, the light olive green and mixed it with my um, yellow and I'm getting some different color shades out of that as well. I've got some raw umber and I've got a number two flat 
um i like i tend to like to walk when i'm painting like this i like small brushes so i'm just wetting my brush a little bit and just kind of wiping it off it's still a little bit and i'm trying to decide how i want to do this because i am making a post and so i think i'm going to come over down here bring the post about this way um maybe i'll come here and come to here so let me go ahead and give myself some markers so i kind of know where i want to start i'm going to just put me a little pencil mark well pencil's not working <laughs> so let's get some chalk i'm going to put me a little marker right here and it might be easier if i did show you draw it out but i'm just going to come up to about along in here here because I want this to be and I'm doing it at an angle and then we're going to build um, and I'll, as I that's not um, straight let me bring it in more um, if that's not straight as far as it's old it's 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 seen better days <laughs> but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna come down a little bit and then I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna come this way and look what I'm building an old birdhouse that birdhouse about to fall off that <laughs> post but that's what I want and then we're going to do some other things to it, but that's um, that's where we're headed. So I'm just going to fill in first. I think I'm going to fill in with the, the burnt umber. And actually, I think instead of, I'm going to pick up my, um, since I did draw it out, I'm going to pick up my um, fourth of an inch bristle brush. And I'm just going to come in here and fill this in. I want it to kind of be straight at the bottom because we're going to come in with some more grasses and stuff. And if we don't run over the um, chalk marks, that's okay. We can erase that with a little water, but I've kind of got mine taken care of there. <laughs> This is where you can spend as much or little time as you want getting this post as old and rugged, ragged looking as you want. Um, as you can tell, I'm just bringing, I'm just kind of zigzagging in here because I want my fence, I want my um, post, it's old, falling apart. Bring in some paint and just fill it in. That's all I'm doing. I'm going to fill in this spot. I'm going to grab some um, black. I have some burnt sienna. And I have some white here. So I have a lot of colors on my palette. <clears throat> now I'm looking at my post. I'm thinking, just looking at it, I want to bring this down here a little bit more. There we go. And we're going to put flowers in, in front of the bottom so it really doesn't matter. But also got some black going here and we, like I said we have some white so we can make our gray um, and we're just going to come in and start coming in with some I've got some black on my brush and I'm just going to start streaking in some I'm going to grab some white just kind of and I've got some burnt sienna and I'm not worried about the um I'm not doing my um birdhouse yet I'm just trying to get the fence I'm just putting a little bit of this burnt sienna but I want to get more black and white going on in here because I want gray <laughs> I 
think I'm gonna have to pick up my white. There we go. And like I said, this is one of those, you can spend as much time or as little time on this post as you want. You just wanna get it closed in. I'm just coming in here. that darker base on there so that when you do put the white on it has something to sit on <laughs> it sounds crazy but so then I'm just making my post off with time when your board sits up there it gets eat away with the weather and the elements in the in the area, so. And if you want a knot, let's see if we can figure out how to get us a knot here. Let me just come back in here and get this. I'll show you in just a minute how we're gonna do a knot. Okay, so. We're gonna take us a black spot here. Let's make it, whoops, I did brown. <laughs> it's okay. I went back and got me some black. And I'm just gonna fill in some black in here because I, the more colors you got, the better, older it's gonna look. I'm gonna spread some of that black around because I didn't like the wig, because I had the brown mixed in there with it. Okay. I'm gonna still come back in with some white. I'm gonna wipe my brush off because I've got too much paint on it. And I'm gonna just grab some black. And I'm just gonna come around in like a little circle. And then I'm gonna start going around it with my with my white to give us a, a knot on a log. <laughs> and then you can just Add to it as much as you want or as little as you want. There's your, there's your uh, uh, not a lock. <laughs> I just like to, this is fun to me because this is where I just mix colors. I get to mix mud, I reckon is what you call it. But. Let me show you another thing. I told you that um, wood outside tends to um, weather we eats away at it. So if you just come in there and put a little black, it might be got too big a paintbrush, but if you just come in there and tap in some black, it'll make it look like it's kind of been eat out a little bit. wipe my paintbrush and then I'm gonna grab some more white and I'm just gonna come in here and bring in some white with it now I tend to when I paint birdhouses I tend to make them red. I don't know why, but I have all kind of colors in my yard. I have purple ones and I have blue ones and um, I probably have some red ones too. <laughs> I know I have red ones. I'm just going to come in with some more white because I want it a little grayer because this is going to dry darker now. You know that, right? So as much white as you want to put in, you can. I like that.
And again, if you want to come in here and put a little black in here, I would bring some little brown. Yeah. Didn't do exactly what I wanted to. Got kind of mixed up. Let's get some of this paint off my brush. And I'm going to grab some black. And I'm just going to come in down here at the bottom. And I'm going to pick up some white and come in around it. Okay. Well, I think I'm pretty happy with that post. 